welcome back. Welcome back to a new adventure and a new location and today a new tent. Today we're over in Wales. Uh, I'm out with Tony and I'm out with Chris. Uh, I'm not sure you'll be able to see them just back there. And our um, plan is we're going to walk up the uh, glitters and we're going to find a place to camp up on the top somewhere, possibly near a tide so we can get some water. So hope you'll stick around and join us. So come on, let's do it. Woohoo! making our way up. We're not doing Trafan today because we've got the backpacks all a bit heavy and the uh, weather conditions at the moment is really really windy so we decided just to skip that and get in between the depression we're going to go over a little flat, a little floor and then there's a small uh, tarn just at the base of, I think it's called Yagan You'll have to excuse my pronunciations and my knowledge of this area because it's not very good. I've only ever been here once before and believe it or not, I climbed the same mountains a long, long time ago. So it's good to get back into Wales. Well, we've made it up to the first Lynn, and apparently this is called Lynn Bocklewood. I know I'm going to get, I'm get ripped apart for these pronunciations, but apparently Lake Australia, Chris. Apparently Lake Australia, because of the shape you see from uh, above, apparently. Pretty nice. So we're just going to have a minute here before we start our second descent. That's our first destination, Glitter Flat. Is that how you say it? Who knows? Uh, and just up there where the cantilever stone is, hoping to get a look at that. 
get the epic shot stood on top of it and then we'll be on across the ridge then to lay the floor and then we'll be dropping down to our camp spot for tonight and I can't even pronounce that one I don't even know what one's called but I'll put it on the screen when we get there There you go for the Trafan lovers. Yeah. That's where Adam and Eve is. That's not for today. Beautiful view down the valley there. That's where we're going. Up to the top of that. There's Trafan. Back side of it. Beautiful views. Oh, it's certainly windy. There's the backside of Trifan, and that the in that saddle there. That's just where we've come over the wall earlier. We've come round and then up this side. We're not far off the summit now. So we'll go and tap out on the summit and then maybe get some dinner. Now, well, we're just stopping having a minute here before we top out at the summit because it's going to be a bit breezy over the back. But what a place to stop, eh? Look at these views that I'm looking at. Stunning. Well, that summit's getting ever closer. It's a final scramble. First summit of the day. We've just been on the cantilever stone, so hopefully you'll see that. And now we're just gonna top out on the first summit of the day, Glitter Flat. It's 994 meters above sea level. It's a beast. That's the summit of Glitter Flat. 994 meters above sea level. Absolutely stunning view from here. What brutal wind. Bye to Glitter Flight. We've just stopped there and had a bit of something to eat, and then we're gonna go past Castle of the Winds and then Glitter Floor, which is a thousand and one meters above sea level. This wind is brutal. I'll have to try and find a bit of cover for the tents.
Castle of the Wind completed up and over the top of them a bit dodgy in places but we've all got over safely next destination the wind's not let up it's pretty cold too so taking refuge under the hood but look at that epic scenery loving it next destination is down there let's see if we can find a camp spot see that cloud blowing through and then the next one along is gone but for now it's all down well there's a nice water spot here we've just filtered off a bit of water here before we get down to the town it's better if you can take it from a running source rather than out of the town if I took out the town I probably boiled it up again before I had drink it but all good so far I was struggling on the waterfront I only brought me uh, this water bottle because I knew we'd be able to fill up on the way around but we have drunk a bit on the uh, on the hike in because it's been quite a long one but all good now we're just three kilo heavier right we're not hanging around here it's just starting to rain so we're just going to get the tents up so I'll bring you back in a bit see you in a bit there you go it's the helm one pretty gusty tunnel through here it's holding up good so far just need to get the rest of the gear in now the rain held off while we got the tents up so that's good anyway what do you think? Belter. Well, the wind's getting up now. There it is. The Elm One Compact. Bargain price of £125. I think they're bringing out a new model, so they were selling these off cheaper. So I thought I'd get myself one. Gone for a full winter setup tonight. Got the foil mat. And then I've got the Thermarest uh, Neo uh, X Lite, and I've gone for my winter bag, which is the Alp Kit Sky i700. I've got the down pants there, uh, and then I've got the down booties. And then just over, over here, is the little door. You'll have seen the reviews on these. And then I just put my backpack in there with everything I'm not going to be using. And you can just zip it up out of the way, and it leaves the rest of your area nice and clear. For making your brews and drinking the Vimto and a beautiful little stream runs by boom well as with any camp that you do when you've done a big hike in you're all sweaty and wet get your, get your kit set up get your tent set up and everything inside once you've done that you need to get out your wet stuff so you don't get too cold that's what I've been doing I've got all the kit set up I've got out the dry gear and I'm getting a brew on now. I'm going to have a quick uh, quick coffee, get a bit of warmth inside me, and then um, maybe have a beer later on. But, top tip, got to look after yourself first. Brew time. I'm not a review person. If you want to see reviews on it, there's plenty on YouTube. But, I'm quite happy with it so far. And it's getting pretty gusty winds at the moment, it's not moving, so it's always a good sign. We're losing the light now. What a beautiful spot. Look at that. And there's Mr. Noble. Well, it's time for some tea. And today we're on. Can you see that chili con carne? You want to see what that one's like? Chili con carne. 
see how this one goes. Got a line in my pack. I won't pour it on my knee this time. And unlike last time, because it's so cold, it's going in the pocket. Toasty. Okay. Not bad. Oh, put you through watching me eat this. But yeah, another not bad one from the uh, from the fire pot range. I'm just gonna go and get the beer out the fridge. There she is. We can reach down and grab her. Ah, there we go. Well, the choice of beer tonight is a Lakes Brew. I don't think you'll see that because of the light. It's a Lakes Brew New Zealand Pilsner. My good lady got me that from the Lake District. And to top it off, I've got a nice cigar. See how this goes. better than a nice beer after a tough walk to camp. That is beautiful. Could have done with another three more. There we go. Don't be silly. It's chocolate. Mmm. Cheers. Well, that's it. We've retired to the tent. Had a lovely evening sitting outside, watching the stairs go by. <clears throat> Well, for a brief time anyway. Uh, the clouds come over now, so I've set a time lapse up. So I'm gonna see, fingers crossed, it might clear back up again as the night goes on. Uh, so we'll see how that comes out. So, hope you enjoyed it so far. I'll see you in the morning. Night night everybody. sunrise so I'm gonna get a quick coffee and I'll bring you back in a bit. Well it's still a bit dark yet but I'll give you a look where we're at. That's what we're hoping for. Nice picture down there. Just waiting for a bit of light. Fingers crossed. Well there you go, we're all packed up. I didn't bother showing you that because it's just the usual stuff there. But the same rules apply, you leave no trace. Leave it as you found it. And it's better if you can. There was my pitch, nothing left. There was Chris's pitch, again, nothing left behind. And that's where Tony was. So just remember, if you come out to these locations, just leave it, leave it as you found it. We're now going to go down on the uh, quite a big descent. We've got about 300 meters drop in quite a short space of time. So I'll show you bits and pieces of that on the way down and I'll bring you back when we get down to the bottom. 
See you in a bit. Well, we're just descending Devil's Kitchen down to Lynn Eggwell, which is just down there. It's a brute of a descent, this. A knee smasher. So, I'll put this away. I'll see you when we get down there. That's it, it's the worst of it done now. It's quite an easy path now. There's a brutal descent. We're nearly down at the uh, Lynn. So what I'll do, I'll show you some pictures, what I've taken while we've been out on this adventure, and I'll bring you back when we get to the car. Hope you enjoy the pictures. it's the end of another adventure hope you've enjoyed it hope you've enjoyed the pictures i've just put out at the end i'd just like to take this time to say a big thanks for all the subs i've gained after chris's shout out on his last video i uh, really appreciate that hope you're enjoying the channel don't forget to head over to tony and chris's channel and uh, give them the same love hope you've enjoyed the adventure and i'll see you next time thanks very much for watching bye